hi everyone in this video you are going to learn about what are the various families that comes under fpga so fpga is also having several families like you were you might have seen in the logic families logic families you might have seen a cmos logic family ttl family rtl family and dtl family these are the different logic families there you have studied in stld or any other any other subject like uh, digital integrated circuit applic and analysis or applications here also in fpga you are having different families okay like uh, altera spartan vertex all these are different logic families where different boards are used for different purposes okay some are low end processor some are high end applications some are used for laboratory purpose like this we can use the fpga families depending upon their application okay so let us see what are the various families we are having so fpga families are there are three different types of fpga families we are going to see one is altera altera plex the first family we are going to study in this topic is altera plex it is one of the logic families and the second one is spartan second one is spartan fpga family and third is vertex third is vertex and one more family recently came into existence that is artix family artix family so these are the different logic families we are going to study so altera flex spartan vertex and artix if you see the major difference among these four different logic uh, fpga families is altera flex and spartan these two are laboratory purpose or we can say low performance fpga families okay altera family and spartan family are low end processing families low performance families low performance families okay and vertex is a high performance family okay vertex is a high performance family where we cannot use it for laboratory purpose we can use it for industry purpose industry level usage whereas altera flex and spartan are we can use for laboratory purpose laboratory purpose we can use this particular logic family in our labs to check the results like input we are giving and to check the output coming to artix is also a but not low performing family and as well as high performing family it is a moderate family where we can use it for laboratories okay so these are the various families we are having okay so now let us see this altera flex logic family along with its along with its architecture okay so uh, i will explain all these individually with their uh, what is this architectures see why these families are having different different names and as well as even in artex flex also it is having number of families with different names like altera or if you say xilinx xilinx is also one of the old families xilinx spartan spartan we can say it is also xilinx family okay spartan is xilinx family and vertex is also a major xilinx family vertex so that's why xilinx vertex family will come spartan is a xilinx this is xilinx family so like example is xc4000 or xc5000 so like this we have different logic families with this uh, designation as xc5000 4000 6000 and so on okay 
so uh, suppose if you are taking any oppo mobile or uh, uh, vivo mobile or any type of uh, samsung mobiles then they are having different names like uh, they are having suppose if you are taking samsung alone samsung is having s series phones f series phones m series phones so depending on the budget and their availability they are having a particular series numbers s is having some high end mobiles and m is having some medium mobiles a is having some moderate mobiles like that we are having different uh, names for the uh, different families and similarly vivo is having v series y series like this we are having different series so that particular series indicating that it is a high end or low end or moderate okay similarly here also your spartan or altera or vertex family and arctic families all these are different logic families depending upon the different uses or application okay so if you see much more elaboratedly the old logic families here xilinx xc 3000 xc 4000 and xc 5000 and 200 this is these are the numbers of that particular logic families again in in that particular xilinx okay and all these are old logic families which are having 0.5 micrometers nothing but 500 nanometers we can say 500 nanometers here 350 nanometers here it is 250 nanometers all these are old versions which are not used in nowadays and not recommended for our modern design suppose i want to go for any uh, design of a multiplier where i want to implement with the latest technology like 45 nanometer technology or Uh, 30 nanometer technology then these type of 250 nanometers 350 nanometers 500 nanometers is no way preferred okay because nowadays we are having that much fast and efficient uh, uh, tools we are having with very small size of the transistors okay in the, in that situation this particular 250 and uh, 500 nanometers designs are not at all considered and recommended for the modern design tools coming to a low cost family till now we have seen old family now coming to the low cost families where the spartan all these spartan devices are low end families spartan xl spartan 2 spartan 2e 3 3e 3a 3a and again 3a n 3a dsp okay so they are having different uh, logics like uh, spartan xl is derived from the xc 4000 family and spartan 2 is derived from the vertex family which is a high performance family and what on uh, spartan 2e derived from the vertex e this one vertex e and spartan 3 is a 90 nanometer technology 3e is 90 nanometer technology where the logic function is optimized and 3a is 90 nanometer technology here input output is optimized and 3a n is another version with the same 90 nanometer technology but with non volatile memory decryption which is an advantage advanced version and spartan 3a in the dsp we are having 90 nanometer technology with dsp optimizer and spartan 6 with 45 nanometer technology so similarly where we have started like a spartan 2 which is derived from vertex e vertex e is family is having 180 nanometer technology so we can say it is 180 nanometer technology and from 180 to now we have moved up to 45 nanometer technology okay that means the value almost by 4 quarter value of this existing starting value 180 by 4 it now it is equal to 45 these are low cost families which are used for the lab purpose laboratory purpose and coming to high performance families these are old families high performance families where these high performance families are used for the industries okay all these high, per, high performance families are vertex families where we have started with 220 nanometer technology later jumped to 180 nanometers 130 nanometers 130 nanometers and uh, the technology is still gone wider and now it is 90 nanometer technology 65 nanometers and 40 nanometer technology okay so each and every year as the year goes on as the versions new new versions are coming into existence with the latest size of the transistors what do you mean by these values 
okay till now i am saying 220 nanometers 500 nanometers or 180 nanometers this is the name of the technology all these nm values shown the name of the technology the name of the technology is referring is referring the length of the transistor okay we'll tell here name of the technology is referring the length of the transistor so this one refers to length of transistor nothing but channel transistors channel between source and drain okay what is the length of the channel from source to drain that indicates the l value that is the name of the technology okay whatever the value specified in brackets 180 or 200 or 230 130 all these values specifies the length value l value that's why if you are having a mentor graphics or CAD and tools with you in your college once check what is the after considering the transistor immediately after transistor you are having l value and w value if l value is like 0 0.13 micrometers then its technology name is 130 nanometer technology that means you are taking a minimum length you can take a minimum length of 130 nanometers we cannot go below this value that is the least possible length value you can consider in that tool suppose if you are taking 40 nanometer technology the least length of the uh, transistor you can consider is only 40 nanometers above which is accepted okay so all these are different logic families depending upon their applications now coming to the ultraflex 8000 fpga architecture where the entire architecture consisting of the similar structure whatever we have with respect to the basic architecture so all these are logic elements see here ioe ioe stands for input output element IOE stands for input output element all these are IOEs surrounded by the FPGA on left hand side you are having IOE right hand side the top and bottom all these are input output elements wherever we have data that can be immediately taken from that particular IOE component okay in which direction it is not necessary because all the IOEs, IOEs are surrounded by this FPGA network now all these are interconnects all these are interconnects and vertically these are interconnects okay so all these are interconnects and horizontally vertically to inter interconnect the horizontal and vertical data you are having a switch matrix sw switch matrix this switch matrix is used to interconnect the horizontal line and vertical line corresponding horizontal and vertical lines okay upon which you are having this ioes on everywhere where it is connected directly to the interconnecting wires and coming to clbs here the clbs are known as lab logic array block see here on the right hand side it is clearly shown this particular clb is calling here as logic array block lab okay lab is nothing but in our fpga technology it is a CLB but more functionalized more functionalized CLB because each CLB consisting of eight logic elements see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all these are LAB consisting of eight different logic elements each logic element is consisting of again four input LUT and multiplexer and T multiplexer this is what the scenario with respect to the CLB okay clb is named as lab what do you mean by lab logic array block logic array block okay this is the name for the clb in this family each and every family is having different names depending on their uses so this is uh, LAB consists of LAB consists of so what this LAB specifies LAB consists of eight logic elements eight logic elements so each logic element each logic element 
consists of four input LUT and D flip flop and a multiplexer. 2 by 1 multiplexer or 4 by 1 multiplexer depending on their use. So similarly we are having n number of CLBs in this FPGA board. Okay. So here the advantage of this Altera Flex 8000 FPGA with respect to the basic architecture of FPGA is instead of using a single logic function implementation with respect to a particular CLB you are having multiple like eight number of logic elements you are having within a same logic array block which each and every function can implement up to four input and one output logic function this is the advantage and more space can be occupied but it is the advantage of the um, Altera Flex FPGA which is an 8000 series okay so now what I said CLB needs uh, named as LAB and the interconnects connects the horizontal and vertical lines okay so that means the data on horizontal and vertical lines can be connected together connected together transferred from one line to another line the data can be like this and it can it can be transferred in this way okay so this is the ultra flex where you can write like this so each and every lab consisting of eight uh, LA, 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 LA is nothing but logic elements and each logic element consisting of a multiplexer D, uh, D flip flop and for input LUT. This is the statement you need to highlight here. Okay, this is about ultraflex remaining families you will see in the next video. Thank you.